Hi everyone, this is Mohammed, and in this video I'll show you a more accurate method for simulating the system model in MPC and uh, MHE. Uh, the method is called the Runchkata method and I'll show you how to implement it in MATLAB using Kasadi. So at the beginning I expect that you have watched already the first uh, lecture in this uh, playlist or otherwise this video will not make much sense to you. So in the first lecture, we showed the basic idea of MPC and how the MPC problem is formulated as an optimal control uh, problem like uh, the one that you see uh, in this slide. We mentioned that the system model is one of the most important constraints on our optimal control problem. And uh, previously, we used the Euler method to integrate or simulate the system differential equation and get an expression for the next state as a function of the current state and the applied control. We then showed how to convert the uh, optimal control problem or the resulting OCP to a nonlinear programming problem or an NLP using the single and multiple shooting methods. In this short lecture or video, I will give a particular focus on simulating the dynamics of the considered system, which is a non-holonomic mobile robot. So again, we previously used the Euler method to approximate the solution of the system differential equation. And in Euler, we assume that the derivative of the system, which is f of x and u here, is constant over the whole sampling time delta t. That's why we simply multiply the derivative by the sampling time and we add this to the current state to get an expression for the next state. This approximation is actually a very coarse approximation. Um, especially when we use a large sampling time delta t. All right, so before we move forward, let's first derive the exact discrete model of the considered system. This is, this is obtained by exactly integrating our uh, differential equation or system model, assuming a piecewise constant control. And when we do that for the considered system, we get this model down here. Actually, it's not always possible to get this exact discrete model for other systems in general. But uh, for this example here, uh, this exact discrete model will allow us to understand the flaws of uh, the Euler method and how it's compared to the Ronchkota method we will talk about later. Right. So let's look now at the result of simulating the exact discrete model and the Euler uh, model. Uh, here we are starting from the same initial uh, position, uh, which is the origin in this case. And we're giving a constant um, uh, linear speed to the robot V and a constant angular speed to the robot omega. So we expect that our robot will move along a circular uh, path uh, for these speeds. And we do the simulation for two sampling times. We will call them h here. So we do that for h equals to 0.2 seconds and h equals to 0.4 seconds. So as you can tell already from uh, these two figures that there is already a clear uh, mismatch between the result of Euler and uh, the exact uh, model. Um, this becomes even worse when we use a large uh, sampling time. This mismatch in simulation becomes actually problematic, especially when we apply the MPC to the real physical system. That is, we don't just uh, simulate the control system again, like what we did in the previous lectures or what we do in simulations in general. All right, so uh, let's now look at the idea of the Runge-Kutta method. 
uh, which you may have studied in any numerical analysis course before. Again, we're given the state uh, derivative uh, in the form of uh, x dot equals f of x and u. And for an initial condition x0, we would like to know the next state value after the time step h. So if we look at this graph, the blue curve here is the exact evolution of the state, uh, which we actually don't know. But we only know the derivative of this curve. We are also given um, the state x0 at time t0, and we would like to know the state x1 at time t1, which is basically t0 plus h. In the fourth order uh, Runge-Kutta method, we evaluate the derivative or the slope at four points between t0 and t1 or t0 plus h. Uh, we evaluate the first slope k1 at time t0 and uh, state x0. Then we evaluate k2 at time t0 plus h over 2 and state x0 plus h over 2 times k1 which we now have. Then we evaluate k3 at time t0 plus h over 2 and state x0 plus h over 2 times k2 which we also have now. And finally we have evaluate the slope uh, k4 at time t0 plus h and state x0 plus h times uh, k3. So these are the formulas for the four slopes or derivatives uh, k1 to k4. So using these slopes, uh, we find an expression for the next state as the current state plus the weighted average of these slopes multiplied by the sampling time h. So if we look at this part of the equation, you will see that uh, the weighted average of the slope is uh, k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 divided by 6. So that's the weighted average of these slopes. And that is multiplied by h, which is the sampling time. So when we use the four slopes, the integration method is called the fourth order Runge-Kutta method. And if we use only two slopes, the method is called second order Runge-Kutta method. And if we use only k1 or one slope, the method is called first order Runge-Kutta method. And if you are an observant, you will realize that uh, the first order Runge-Kutta method is basically the Euler method uh, or the Euler discretization method in which we use only one slope uh, k1 in this case. So. Uh, Euler discretization method is actually a special case of the Runge-Kutta uh, method. All right, so let's look now at the implementation of this, this method in MATLAB using Casadi. In this slide, I will show only the simulation, which means uh, no integration with the MPC code yet. So at the beginning, we will define our system model as usual, symbolically. And then we will specify uh, some parameters like the simulation time, the initial condition, and the control action. Here we use two for V and one for omega. And the initial condition is the origin uh, for our state vector. And in this simulation loop, we will basically implement directly our four equations of the slopes k1 to k4. So all these equations here, k1, k2, k3, and k4, are directly implemented in these four lines here. And we will use these k's to write the expression for the next state using the Runge-Kutta method, uh, fourth order, or rk4 uh, for short. So our next state equals to the current state plus the weighted average of the k's times the sampling time h. So we're simply implementing this equation at this line of the code. Right, and here we're just saving the uh, 
new state to visualize the result. So in this slide, we see how the three methods compare to each other. Uh, the exact discrete model, the Euler method, the RK4 method. And it's very clear that the RK4 method gives us uh, a trajectory that is almost identical to the exact uh, model, um, even if we use a large uh, sampling time h. So you can hardly distinguish between RK4 and the exact uh, lines here. In this slide, we also see how accurate the Ronge Cotta method when compared to the Euler method by looking at the uh, positional error in X uh, and Y, the X position error and the Y position error. So if we look at the order of magnitude of the two methods, uh, we will immediately see uh, that RK4 is much more accurate than the Euler uh, method. All right, so let's now look at the integration of this method with our MPC uh, controller. So I'm going to modify the point stabilization and multiple shooting file and use the RK or range cutter method for integrating the system instead of the Euler method. All right, so here we have the file for the point stabilization and the multiple shooting implementation. So we will go directly to where we integrate our system and comment out the uh, Euler method part, which are the three uh, lines here. And um, we will then write the expressions for uh, K1 to K4 using the same equations we presented in the slides. And finally, we write the next state expression as a function of the current state and the weighted average uh, of the slopes multiplied by the sampling uh, time h. And this um, uh, estimated state using the RK method will be added to our constraints vector for the multiple shooting method. Right, so that's the only modification we have to make to this file and the rest of the code will remain the same. And we can run our file as usual. And we get the simulated uh, robot. All right, so I guess that that's it for me for this video. And thank you for watching.